you. Tom, let's turn it over to you and maybe put a little bit different twist for you and Chase to answer is, you know, how do you basically help these business owners realize that private equity is not evil? Uh, you're there to help them. You're a good exit plan. There's still some connotation out there and concerns that, you know, private equity is going to come in and fire all my people and, and just cut costs and stuff. How, how, how do you guys want to address this? We'll start with you, Tom, on that. Okay, thank you. Um, funny, funny you say those because I, I wondered all those same things when I was contemplating selling my business and didn't know at the time what private equity was. For us, it was explained to me early on by ultimately the, uh, the, the firm that uh, we partnered with and purchased us. They were saying, you know, Tom, you've, you've gotten this business to a certain level and it was substantial. And, and to John's point, when we thought about additional growth methodologies at the time, We'd say, yeah, but we're doing so great already. And, and how much more do I want to risk? Like, you know, how many times can I mortgage my home and, and additionally put my personal guarantees on the line to keep growing it, even though I saw so much runway in that? And they, they explained to me, like, hey, take some chips off the table, roll with us. You've still got the energy to kind of want to grow. And, and, and I had, me and my partner had a, a large boatload of ideas of things the company could become but we just really weren't at the place to do it all on our own. And they explained to us like, hey, if, if you're feeling like some of you, you've got a great executive team, but if there's members of the team that you feel there were holes that needed to be filled, when private equity is the partner that actually does it, they actually were able to open us up to a, a broader audience of potential talent that would join our company, that they're able to offer some of their equity incentives and they often, you know, private equity firms, when they, when they do these transactions will often set aside a certain percentage of that, of that purchase price to be able to recruit and bring in new talent that maybe wouldn't have considered coming into a company or certainly when it was just my dime, maybe I wasn't able and willing to kind of give that sort of money to new people coming in to really recruit the, the largest bit of talent. So I think for me, looking back and then now looking forward and trying to impart that on the companies that we partner with is really trying to explain to these founders as they're contemplating what that next level journey is is that partnering with private equity can actually help them build out a strong team maybe even help them accelerate their if they were thinking about retiring soon you know allow a team to come in and help them and to coach up that next level management that could ultimately be there day-to-day -day replacement if that's what they so choose and allow them a, a graceful transition to the board or if they say no i've got all the energy in the world to continue being the ceo i want to see this thing double and triple and go crazy i just need some help that's really where private equity can come in and help fill those holes and buckets so that that really was it's funny you phrased the question that way because i struggled with those challenges and i now uh, kind of live trying to tell that story that that can be a, a positive outcome for uh, for founders thinking about it. Oh, that's great perspective, Tom. And turn it over to Chase now. And Chase, what do you do when you're when the private or when the private business owner looks at you like, why would I sell to PE? You know, I, I think Brian, you know, first off, I'd say that I don't think selling to PE is always the right outcome or the right strategy. You know, oftentimes selling to a strategic is the right decision to accomplish goals. But the reality is Optionality is really important. There's 4,500 private equity firms with over 16,000 portfolio companies, and it's become such a major player in providing liquidity and really helping grow businesses like, you know, Sean, John, and Tom have all hit that really anytime you're looking to raise, you know, equity and solve any capital need, you should have that as an option. And I think the most important advice I, I could give on it would be really at the end of the day, assess what, what you want. What are your goals? Do you want to sell a hundred percent? You know, then there's probably strategics might be the right, the right bet. Do you want to take some chips off the table and bring in a partner to really help you execute on value creation initiatives, grow a bigger, better, stronger business and get a, a bigger bite at the, the, the apple on your second turn. 
And based on those goals, do your diligence around the private equity firms that you're talking to. Um, there's a lot of different flavors of private equity with different styles and strategies and, you know, make sure you're aligned with them. Uh, all their CEOs, I'm sure at some point they'll offer them, but do your diligence, make your, your customer calls and see what they're like to work with post close. But I think you'll find that a lot of the stereotypes of the past really aren't, are no longer true and sure there's some bad apples out there, but you know, at the end of the, the day, we're aligned in helping create value. And if, if you get that alignment with your, your teams, you'll, it'll lead to good outcomes.